fun welcome back to my channel sorry my voice is so painful so i sound like a crisp but today i'm doing a tutorial on how to use the beauty works i think it's called professional style out i don't even know but yeah this concoction is on it comes with a heat proof mat which is very handy oh and it comes with a heat proof glove which i will need can you find the glove okay we got it okay so yeah my hair is on like day three four of being washed i washed it on sunday and today's wednesday so yeah three or three so i'm gonna just dry shampoo the fuck out of this i literally love dry shampoo it's the best this one is the dry shampoo flirty floral from batiste and i get it from Wilco and just like massive one. Through this is my favourite brush. It's like the Tangle Teaser one with a handle. Because I literally like cannot hold a normal Tangle Teaser. I like, like a fucking horse brush. So I go with the one with the handle. And this is for wet and dry hair. So it's all good. Brush that through. It already gives like a massive lift in volume when you do that to your hair. And adds like a bit of lightning as well to my blonde bits sometimes i do forget to brush it through and then eva will be like um why is your hair gray and it's because i've not brushed out my dry shampoo so let's get that through stunning right then do 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 okay so that's kind of all the prep that i do for the pre-hair but when i wash my hair i always spray in the beauty works 10 in 1 spray which has got heat protectant in so if you haven't got a heat protectant on your hair, put that on before you use that because that's currently 220 degrees. Death hat. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is obviously I have curtain bangs. Um, so I'm just going to... I did blow them out yesterday. So they have quite a bit of like root volume, which is what you want. And then I'm just going to put them onto a roller. So I kind of bring them forward and you look a bit wild. And then I'm just gonna separate out like this and we're gonna put it in a big fat roller I should have maybe taken these clips out. okay right so then we, yeah we're gonna roll it into this massive roller just because when I have curly hair I do like a big fringe but not too big because you want it to kind of blend in with the curls if that makes any sense like i like it to follow the kind of wave of the curls but i need quite a few clips to get this to stay because it's quite a lot of hair for my little roller there we go lovely so then you look like this <laughs> crazy so then you've got your hair the rest of it is down really need to fucking make sure that is gripped because that is it feels really loose. Okay. Maybe I'll put another clip on the other side. Okay, there we go, that's fair. Okay, yeah, so then you've got your hair. And what I do is I take, like, the top chunks. And I'm going to tie them up. And then we're going to curl. Like, the underneath bit doesn't need to be as neatly curled. But I do like... Obviously you want it to look all even and this curler makes your hair just look like really naturally like you just have this kind of hair Which I don't Do not be fooled. I did not use the Heat proof glove the first time and I did burn myself. So Always utilize um, the heat proof glove never had one before so Here we go I feel like I'm doing a surgery but okay so obviously this hand is the hand you hold the hair against the wand so even though i think i would normally it's, it's really weird like the best way to hold this curler is to hold it upside down so the curl drops off the end so you want to flip the curler like this and you want to wrap your hair oh god okay yeah you want right so you want to wait like it is heaps always takes me like a few tries to get it perfect but okay so you want to wrap your hair like as flat as you possibly can against the wand 
and then put your hand on the bottom because that oh, that obviously isn't hot and just hold it like this for a few seconds look how difference in my face and arm colour because I've not faked hand okay and then you let the curl drop slowly bring out the wand and then you just kind of hold the curl for a bit and then what I do is just slowly let it drop see and then this is what we're working with very cute then I'm going to roll it up and we're going to pin it because honestly this is the best way to make um, these curls last so you want to just twist it you could put it in a roller if you wanted more bouncy but I'm feeling more curly so yeah you just pin it with a big fat pin sometimes you use a grip as well for the underneath ones because I do have quite a lot of hair just to keep that in place wait did I just put all my hair in that fuck's sake wait one second oh oh no no that was right okay sorry I thought I had less of a segment okay yeah so you roll it up and then you just put a little clip in. You can use a grip or you can use like a big, like actual pink curl clip. Okay, cool. So, that's that. And then you just repeat. On this side of my head I do actually find it harder to get it upside down. But sometimes it's, you gotta make it work. Okay. Obviously that needs to go over here out of the way. So I kind of do like this bigger chunk for underneath and then like the smaller you want the curl, like the more defined you want the curl, the smaller the chunk. But um, yeah, I only really do define curls like near my face. So I'm so cack handed, so apologies. So this side, what I do is I lay it on the tool, like upright like that. And then I just flip it. I mean, half my hair just come off, but it's really hard to get a good angle for you guys but okay so yeah just hold it like this and then we let it drop and we repeat obviously like underneath as I said it doesn't really matter so I do this one as well before I pin what you want to do is just make sure that you pin curl it before the curl cools fully down so yeah you just want to hold like this this is a better demonstration but yeah, you just want to make sure that before the curl is cold, it's pinned because that's essential to keeping it held in place. And then we let it kind of lovely, little curly whirly. See? I feel like the first time I used this, I just had no clue. I have watched a few tutorials and like, I'm still kind of getting to grips with it but the other day I did do it and it looked gorgeous and I'm not gonna lie it lasted like a few days the shape of my hair was gorgeous and like even when I had it in a ponytail you could see that the curl was still there it was really nice I do want to get like a smaller wand because I love a tight curl but not yet I think I'll wait a bit but I do really want to get like so I can have proper curls because I did have the Mark Hill multi waver but got rid of a couple of the heads oh I actually got rid of the curler but yeah I'm gonna get rid of the other heads just because it was so old and it was not doing the job anymore okay right so I'm gonna pin these and then I will move on to the upper layers so I do take the glove off as well because the glove can be annoying so yeah I'm just gonna roll them up Try not to get my top layers in the way. That's also what's really annoying. Is that my top layers always get in the fucking way. Okay, there's one on. Do, 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 do. I feel like the underneath layers. I normally just do in massive chunks because I just want the under bit to have, <coughs> have the same shape. Sorry if I sound crispy as fuck in this video. Okay, 
way. Do some grips for the under bit just to keep that in place, and then I mean, I think my hair has literally fallen out of the hairband I was in. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that down over the top, which sometimes can pull them out, so you just gotta be a bit careful and like you, it will look crazy until like what is this? Oh, yeah, it's just caught on the actual pin curl, so ignore that I look like a rug rat, but. Now we're just going to curl the rest of the hair and you want to try, when you curl the front bit, curl them away from your face, I think is what I normally do. This is when we get there and I curl them towards, but we'll see. We shall see. Okay. So same kind of principle except for I do use smaller chunks. It also is quite time consuming, I'm not going to lie. I think oh, like the last time I did this properly, it took me about half an hour, which that's not too bad, but... The Mark Hill I could do 15 minutes when it was at peak, but then when it wasn't, it was probably similar time because the heat was not coming through the wand very well at all and it just wasn't holding a curl. And that's why we had to say rip. My lips look so pink because I put my hot shot oil on. Okay, curly whirly. Oh, that was a good one. And then we go on pin. But okay, I'm going to do the rest of my head, and when it's all pinned, we'll go from there. Okay, so everything is pinned. I look crazy lady. So, just go over with the spray. Normally I would do this before I do my makeup, and then I would like do my makeup to leave it kind of to sit for a bit. But we don't have that luxury today. So, I just sprayed that. And then we're just going to go around and take out all the pins. So... I do start with where I kind of started first, so like we'll start with the bottom and then we'll move our way up. So you just want to shake out all the curls. Some of them like look better than others, see what I mean? Like it just gives a lot of, you know like on the beauty work adverts when they're like, that's literally what it's giving right now. And then, sometimes my hair literally gets like caught in the clips which is so annoying, but gonna get that it's gonna be good it's gonna be okay my grip oh that one is a good one. Oh, nice um obviously like i kind of let them naturally drop um or i sometimes brush them out if i want them to look really natural it just depends on what i'm going for that day so yeah i'm just gonna take them all out i always um used to pink on my hair in general before I had rollers and it, it does really help with keeping your curls in I mean they they can get a bit knotted together but oh wow that's really curly that's the best curls I've done to be honest okay eh. let's take out the other side You're probably hearing that in the back. <laughs> cool. This one's a bit cool. But... Eh. Okay, there we go. Let's so get it out. There we go. Okay. Let's move out. Take that one. We'll do the top. I do find one side it always curls better than the other, which is kind of annoying, but we move. Oh, okay, wait, there's one clip left. Just there. Sometimes I also lose the clips in my hair. See? Okay, that actually looks really good. Okay, this, why is the best time that I've done it literally today? Okay. It's just practice, I think, with like getting used to the wand and stuff. I've never used like a big barrel like that before. Go, let's take out my roller. My hair will look crazy until I saw it. What is this right now? Oh, it's giving a quiff. Then, kind of like, will be really big and then it will calm down. Oh, okay, it's not too bad. And then I kind of like 
tuck the bits behind the curls. And I don't even think I'm going to brush that out because that looks really good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from me. But what I did the other day actually was use a bit of this Beauty Works Molly May leave in vanilla mousse conditioner. I love this stuff. I've not got a lot left, but. Oh, see? I just put like the tiniest amount on my hand, rub that in, my pale ass crusty hands, and then I just scrunch that up into my curls and it is gone all over my top long, but that's okay. Because the other day this like really helped uh, keep the curls like in place for the whole day. I saw another girl do this um, when I was watching the Beauty Works tutorials. It kind of makes sense because this is also Beauty Works, but yeah, I feel like I've maybe put a bit much, but it's okay. Just gonna scrunch it all in. It's actually all over me. Lot of good. I'm gonna put a jumper on. Okay, there we go. And then I just I always put my hands through my hair anyway, like all day. I'm really bad for that. And then the other, I'll flip. Let me flip my hair. Okay, right. So just flip my hair, put the mousse through, and then this is the final product. Um, I just love how it makes my hair. It looks makes my hair just look really big. Like it kind of looks like it's maybe naturally like this curly, but honestly, love it. Like they just drop. This is like the volume it gives as well. It looks so pretty. Um, and obviously like they were a bit tighter before I flipped my hair and added mousse and stuff so you could kind of just leave them if you wanted but I like kind of more natural vibes just for the day and then like I'll literally have my hair like this for a few days um, but yeah I think the products are also key to prep in your, make your makeup <laughs> the key for that but prep in your hair uh, let me just finish up my makeup and then I will end this video but I also then will go over with a bit of hairspray. This hairspray is the best, by the way. You need to, everyone needs to get the got to be glued hairspray because it's the best, um, and it smells really nice. Like it kind of smells like perfume. Um, but yeah, let me just finish up my makeup and then I'll end this video for you guys. Okay, so just finished getting ready, and we're done. It looks so cute. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Okay, just finished getting ready. This is what we're working with. It looks gorgeous. It's giving natural, it's giving summer. Like, I love it. Like, imagine this in the summer with like a long maxi dress and a tan. Okay, it's gonna be fit. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to link any of the products I used. Um, but yeah, this was £70 for like the full set. Comes with a uh, heat proof mat, heat proof glove, travel bag. So it's actually, I think, worth the money. Um, and I will probably keep this until it stops working which will probably be years so the other one i had for like five years maybe more actually maybe ten so it's gonna be longevity it's what we want but the next video is gonna be such a fun vlog so i will see you in the next one bye guys love you don't forget to follow me on all my other things you know what to do Mwah.